Hi, my name's Darren Fink, and subbing in for Dalton today is... Jasmine! And we're here to do another Foster Adoptive book review for you. Today we're doing a kiddo book called The Star, a story to help young children understand foster care, and it's by Cynthia Miller Lovell. And uh, this book does not have a synopsis on the back, which I usually read, but if you go onto our website and check out more information on this book, we took the synopsis from Amazon.com and you'll be able to read the general synopsis that they have there for this book. But uh, we're just going to go straight into talking about the book. Jasmine, what audience was this book created for, do you think? Foster and Adoptive. Foster and adoptive, so probably more toward the foster family side because it is um, a girl that has been taken into the foster care system, and it's uh, her name's Kit, and she is taken into the foster care system. She's taken from her birth mom, um, and it talks a lot about the emotions and different things that she's going through in the foster care system. Um, it's a book that is directly for the foster care system and talking to kids about the foster care system. It's not one of those books where they might have a story and they weave the foster care and adoption themes through it. This is like, uh, it's more direct, let's talk about the foster care system, and then the story is secondary. So Jasmine, what else did you think about the book? What other thoughts did you have? Oh, it's definitely for like the like lower elementary. Right, so um, I think I even said in our blog entry on our website that it's probably for ages about three to seven. It's definitely for younger children to talk to them about the foster care system or the emotions or issues they're finding themselves in right now. Um, Jasmine, what did you think about the illustrations? They, like, aren't the best. They're kind of, like, oldish, but... Get the pictures and like, like, tell a story. Okay, so Jasmine, she was kind of, she didn't like the pictures as well as I thought they did a great job. I thought they moved the story through. Um, I thought they were going to keep the attention of the kiddos. Um, Jasmine's critique of it was that she, like, there's some images here that she said it looks like it was a smaller image and then it was blown up and it's a little pixelated. I didn't notice that as much. I thought the images worked well. I thought they, like I said, they moved the story through so that you could talk with kiddos and um, I don't know it just had a fun cartoony realistic they can identify with the, the, the girl in there um, and there are things like with this page it has different emotions on it so kids can point out a picture and say this is how I feel or this is how I don't feel this way but I feel this way um, it's just a nice tool and, and guide to use with it I would suggest, like I do, if you can read more about it in our uh, blog on the website, I do have to say that this I probably wouldn't read as a bedtime storybook only because it does pointedly go through the foster care system and the situations that Kit, the, the main little girl that's in there, what she went through, and that might bring up some trauma triggers, like kids might start thinking about how they were taken from their birth home, and you don't want someone going to bed with that when they all of a sudden have all these questions or they're getting scared or remembering the anxiety. But it is a good book that you might, if you have, when you have time, it's a good quick read. It's a short book that you could go through with a young child and then start asking them questions and starting healthy conversation and dialogue. So that's all that we have for this book. If you're interested and want more di discussion questions, on this book, you can go on our website and check out the discussion questions we have on there so that you can get into healthy conversation with your child using this book. And Jasmine, if they want to check out some of our other resources and tools or other book reviews, where can they go? They can go to Transfiguring Adoption. Transfiguringadoption.com. We hope to see you there and we hope this has helped you to nurture and grow your foster or adoptive family.